In this program, we're going to learn about the ruminant digestive system. Animals with a ruminant digestive system have a large stomach divided into four compartments. A digestive system is the system by which ingested food is acted upon by physical and chemical means to provide the body with absorbable nutrients. Even the smallest animals need to eat and drink. In some unicellular creatures, ingestion occurs at any point of the body. Because they have no mouth, these single-celled organisms ingest nutrients through a process called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when a cell takes in a large object that it will eventually digest. These creatures do not have a digestive tract. They store the ingested material in structures known as food vacuoles, where the nutrients are absorbed and waste products are then eliminated through a temporary opening in the cell membrane. One of the first types of digestive tracts was the gastrovascular cavity that is found in cnidarians like jellyfish and sea anemones. In a gastrovascular cavity, food goes in and waste comes out that same opening. Food enters the gastrovascular cavity where enzymes break down the food used by individual cells. Waste material is then ejected through the same cavity. From the gastrovascular cavity evolved the alimentary canal, a one-way digestive tract with two openings. Scientists believe that the first animals to have the alimentary canal were microscopic worms called nematodes. From nematodes, the alimentary canal evolved, resulting in many different types of digestive tracts. Arthropods are invertebrate animals whose digestive functions take place in specialized cavities that are connected to form a continuous canal. The alimentary canal includes a foregut consisting of the mouth parts and esophagus, the midgut or stomach, and the hindgut where undigested food is excreted through the anus as feces. Virtually all vertebrate animals have a digestive system with an alimentary tract. The pseudo-ruminant digestive system is the type found in some vertebrates that eat large amounts of roughage or fiber. Roughage contains the relatively indigestible carbohydrate cellulose, the main component of plant cell walls. Unlike true ruminants, they do not have stomachs with several compartments. They use a different strategy to digest roughage. Different species of animals have different digestive systems. There are four basic types of vertebrate digestive systems. Avian, monogastric, ruminant, and pseudo-ruminant digestive systems. Digestive systems of animals have adapted to the kinds of foods eaten, the methods by which food is obtained, and the energy needs that an animal needs in order to survive. Animals with a ruminant digestive system are hooved animals that include cows, sheep, and goats. Ruminant animals feed on roughages like hay, plants, and stems that are low in energy and not easily digestible. Roughage is mainly composed of the compound cellulose, which is an indigestible carbohydrate that makes up the most of the cell walls of plant cells. A cow's digestive system starts with the mouth, where the food is crushed and swallowed. The ruminant digestive system allows animals, such as cows, to make use of otherwise indigestible foods by repeatedly regurgitating and rechewing the material. The regurgitated material is known as cud. The cud is then re-swallowed and further digested by specialized microorganisms in the animal's rumen. The stomach of the cow has four compartments, the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The rumen is the first and largest section of the stomach, and in a cow, may hold up to 125 liters of partially digested food. Microorganisms in the rumen help the food to be digested and provides protein for the cow or other animal. Undigested food and foreign objects like stones and wire pass on to the second part of the digestive tract known as the reticulum. Foreign objects are trapped in the reticulum while food matter passes to the cow's third stomach compartment called the omasum. The omasum wall is highly folded, giving a large surface area which allows for the efficient absorption of water and salts. The omasum acts like a filter and passes smaller food to the abomasum. The abomasum acts much like a monogastric stomach. Partly digested food is mixed with acid and some enzymes that break food down even further. 
After the food passes through the abomasum, it travels to the small intestine, where digestion by other enzymes continues. Many of the nutrients are absorbed. Any unabsorbed food moves on to the large intestine, where water is absorbed before passing out of the cow. Animals have different digestive systems. The ruminant digestive system found in hooved animals is a system designed to get food in the body, digest the food, and absorb the nutrients necessary to live.